Okay, full disclosure. I watched Alicia Burke's Vlogmas this morning, and her vlog was about um, carved st stamping, carving our own stamps. And so I have decided that I want to do something freehandish. I say that, I don't know, maybe not. All right, so there, I'm gonna even that piece out. So if I wanna do a larger piece later, I, later I have this space. I'm thinking I will do a leaf like what she did. I will do a leaf. So let's do a leaf. Like that. I think that's what hers looked like. I Or a teardrop, whatever you want to call it. I like it. Pretty simple, nothing complicated, and so let's get started. Um, be, 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 be. I want to go around the edges with the big tool because I'm going to carve around the stamp so that this portion sits up. <coughs> Oh my goodness. Eee. All right. Let's see, where is it? You know, when I fix my light so that you guys don't get the glare, I can't see what it is I'm doing. I'm lucky I get anything done at all. Eee. Okay, I'm gonna move the light down. Yes, it's gonna glare, but I can't see what I'm doing. <laughs> okay, well, that's not horrible. Alrighty, so now I'm just going to go and take off as much as I can on the outsides because I want to, what? I want to actually leave the leaf itself. So I, I want to use the leaf. I'm not sure how much I will clean it up, but I know that it's going to have to have some kind of cleanup eventually. I don't know what kind, but we'll see. After we stamp it the first time, I'll know. Well, maybe. <laughs> All right. I'm going to fast forward through this rest, the rest of this. Okay, I went to get my CD carve, which has a wider tool. The gouge has a wider tool, the V shape, so that I can get this done much faster. Now we'll go back to fast forward.
Okay. Thank you very much, Alicia Burke, for the um, <laughs> for the leaf idea. <laughs> so these two are from this. I did no color, and then I did contrasting colors, and it picked up what was left on the plate from the blue, which I really like. There's that. So let's see what what day are we on? Oh, here's the stamps stamp offs I tried to do to get the paint off of it, but we can't. Once it's on there, unless you scrub this thing off with a paintbrush, I mean a scrub brush of some sort, like a toothbrush. Look, I tried to restamp, not happening. So that's what it looks like. Eh, it's okay. All right, so that's those two prints from that day. And now we're going to stop and I will do another video later today for, I don't know, what am I on? 20, 21, I don't know. Anyway, it'll be in the proper order soon. Thanks for watching, everybody. And happy printing. Happy carving. Okay, I have not moved from this spot since the last video. <laughs> I've been sitting here for days. No, <laughs> I'm recording this the same time I recorded the two before this one. Um, I got an idea. I want to do, I think it's a Zentangle pattern. So this is what it's going to look like. I think I need a little larger. So I can't decide. Yep. Nope. Maybe this size. I really want a bigger one. Okay, so I'm going to do it this way. It's hard to be in frame, uh, stay in frame. Okay, I'm going to do this way, and I'm going to do it like I did last time. I'm just going to draw inside the circle and pray that I can keep it <laughs> the way it's supposed to be. All right, so there's my initial circle, and then I'm going to draw in the... part that is... Zentangly. That's it. It's a very simple stamp. I'm so far behind that I decide I'm not doing anything real complicated because I'm just not. <laughs> you don't have time. All right, let's do it this way. Where's the end? Okay, here it is. So again, that will kind of even out my rubber. I'll be excited if I have leftover rubber. Alrighty, here we go. Uh, uh, uh. Again, with the fast forward. Well, maybe not. This one won't take too long.
Okay, so here are my ball prints that are a, I can't think of the name of it off the top of my head right now. Um, when I edit the video, I'll try to find the name of this, but this is a Zentangle pattern. So I want it to be a background and I may stamp other things on top of it. I may doodle on top of it. I may collage on top of it, but this is a generic sort of background that will be fine. So that's it for this one. See you in the next one.